Hello everyone, welcome back to WebTech Tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to log into crypto.com on your computer. Keep watching the video till the end and don't forget to subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button. Press the notification bell icon so that you'll never miss another update from us. Click open a web browser first and in the address bar type in crypto.com and press enter. You'll end up in this page. Now you can either download your crypto.com application on the App Store or get it on Google Play. If you'd like to log in with your web browser, then you can click on this NFT option at the top. Once you do that, a new tab will open up. To log into your account, go to the top right and click sign in. The sign in portal will appear on the display. If you don't have an account yet, you can click on the sign up link and register yourself or sign up to your new account. But if you already have one, you can enter your email that is associated with the account in the text box below. Type in the email associated with your account and then head over to the next field and type in your password for your account. Make sure to type in your password correct. If you'd like to double check your password, you can click on this eye icon in the right corner. If you don't remember your password, you can click on the forgot password link and follow the instructions so that you can reset to a new password. After you've typed in the credentials, click on this click to verify button and once your account has been verified, click sign in. Soon after you do that, you might need to enter the verification code that has been sent to your email. Go ahead and open a new tab and go to your email that is associated with the account. Open up your inbox and you should receive a verification code. Simply copy the code and paste it into the email verification code field and click submit. Soon after you do that, you'll be able to log into your crypto.com account. That is how it is done. I hope you found the video to be helpful. If you did, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Comment down below in the comment box if you have a question or a feedback for us. I'll be back soon with more tutorial episodes. Goodbye till then.